All right, if you notice over my shoulder, it is daytime, but it is dark outside, which I suppose means that we need to talk about dark mode. Plus, got a dark shirt on, so kind of fitting with the theme of this lesson, which is talking about dark mode, not only in the operating system, but especially in OneNote. It can be a bit confusing, so let's dig right in. So dark mode is a recent addition to several applications and to operating systems. So there's now a dark mode in Windows 10, there's a dark mode in iOS, and there are individual toggles in certain applications that you can enable dark mode. Now, if you are interested in dark mode, you probably understand already or have done some reading about why people prefer dark mode. They claim that it reduces eye strain, that it improves the readability of text. There are a couple of uh, studies that have been done on this phenomenon. And then the big difference that complements the two things of improved readability and reduced eye strain is that in dark mode, the screen, whatever screen you're looking at, is going to emit less blue light. And then the how is going to depend on what platform or what application you might be using. So let's first look at things just on the Windows side. If you go to the settings in Windows, so I'm starting on a Windows 10 PC here, and then you go to personalization, you can see that Windows right now is using the dark mode. So go to personalization, go to colors, and then at the bottom of the colors personalization settings, there is a default app mode, light or dark. So once you enable dark, then obviously you've set Windows 10 for the default apps to use dark mode. So now as I go back to an Office application, in this case PowerPoint, you can see that we're not using dark mode in this application. So if you want to do that, you go to the File menu, and then you come down to Account. And then in account, you have this office theme section where you can choose from colorful, dark gray, that's a version of dark mode, to go completely dark, then you go black, and that is the dark mode setting in office. So that should apply to all office applications now. So if I go back here, you can see that we're using dark mode. And if I want to go full Monty with dark mode here, then I can go to the design tab and I can make even my slides make them into I guess a sort of dark mode here. Now how does this all apply to OneNote? Well remember in Windows 10 that you may have two different versions of OneNote. If you're using the Office 365 version of OneNote, which by the way is being discontinued, it's no longer being updated and supported, or it's still being supported, but eventually everybody is going to use the trusted Windows platform version of OneNote, the free version of OneNote. In any event, if I were to open up OneNote, and this is the 2016 version, so it's the Office 365 version of OneNote, you can see that OneNote is using the dark mode. And the reason why it's using the dark mode is because of the settings that I've configured with Office. Now let's look at the other OneNote, the free version that is included with Windows 10, which is the trusted Windows platform version. And I'll do that by again typing in OneNote at the start menu. So it's this one right here under apps, OneNote, the icon's different as you can see. And as you can also see, this version of OneNote right now is not using dark mode. It's not using the dark mode that you've set maybe in the operating system in Windows 10, and it's not using dark mode that you've configured in the other Office applications. Now, to enable dark mode in this cross-platform version of OneNote, you need to go up here to the ellipsis icon, settings and more. You give that a click, you go down to settings, and then you will click on options. Now at the time I'm making this recording, this is not something that is rolled out to everyone, but when it is rolled out to your version, you click on options, and then under options, you should see up here, you'll see a, an ability, a, a toggle, to enable light mode or dark mode for OneNote. Now, if you are a an Office Insider, then this probably is rolled out to you right now. If you're not an insider, then as you can see, you may not have this enabled just yet. And the reason that I'm not an Office Insider is because of my type of Office account, which is a business license. So this is all very confusing. If you have 
uh, the home edition or the home version of Office, then this should be something that you're able to enable. In fact, to enable the Microsoft Office Insider uh, updates, you can go to the File tab of any Office application, go back to Account, and you should see that under Office Updates, the ability to opt in to the Office Insider program. Now, before we leave Windows, the world of Windows, I want to show you one other thing. If you're using Microsoft Edge and you're doing some research about the uh, 728 Excel certification exam, for example, you might notice that, well, we're not using dark mode in this application either. And this is part of Windows and shouldn't it be in dark mode like everything else? Well, as you can see, the answer may be no. So you just kind of have to look at things like settings and certain other applications. So if you go down to settings, you'll notice here that under the theme, that is something that you can toggle on and choose to use dark mode in Windows Edge. That's how it's going to look in OneNote as well. Now before we leave, let's take a quick look at the Macintosh side of things. If you're using the Mac operating system, you are probably aware that dark mode was rolled out with Mojave. So if you go into System Preferences and General, you have the ability to enable the dark mode, which I've done here. But as you can see, it's still not something that has been rolled out with OneNote. So if you're using the Macintosh version, then you're stuck with the light mode for right now. I imagine that in the future, you'll be able to go into preferences and then probably in general or maybe in the edit and view, you'll be able to enable a dark mode. But for right now, that feature just simply doesn't exist. So hopefully that will help clear things up about dark mode. Again, it can be a little confusing and it can be very specific to the operating system or the application you're using about how to actually enable dark mode. If you have any questions, feel free to enter them into the comments and I'll be happy to answer those questions. If you like the video, of course, smash the subscribe button. I think I'm supposed to ask you this right now. In any event, it's dark mode outside right now, and I've got to go and make sure that my house isn't flooding. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the video.